Hey there, ho, Jingle Heroes. Okay, so I am in California for work. I am right outside of Folsom, which is kind of outside of Sacramento. And I'm going to do a stealth camp. I'm going to hopefully do a stealth camp. So I am in a Holiday Inn here outside of Folsom. There's a little place right beside the hotel. It's got a nice little kind of I don't know if it's like a, a wash or a little divot type thing that's near the highway. So I scooped it out. I think it'll be a good place to stealth camp tonight. And yeah, I hear a train is coming. Hopefully I won't end up in Folsom Prison. So like, my bag packed up. I did bring some gear just in case I was going to stealth camp on this trip. So yeah, let's get going. Out of the hotel. It's kind of the back side. Pool is over there. Highway is over there. This corner is where we're going. So I don't see anyone in the parking lot now. So we're going to kind of slip behind the dumpsters here. Still no one. Now let's go. There's a cat, so it's kind of awesome. They have cat houses and feed and food here. That some of the local people bring out for the stray cats. There's a, a sign on the fence with their like group name and number. Come up how to contact them if you want to help feed the cats. Alright, so I just went through this gap in a fence. I don't know if you can see that, but let's go up the little hill and look at the highway. So I can't remember what highway that is I'll put that up here somewhere yeah anything down here is way too open so I kind of want to go back in this little divot area yeah this place where I just came up is definitely a well-trodden path so I don't want to be right here so we'll go down this way a little bit and there are a lot of briars so I need to get away from those a lot of lights in this parking lot which is kind of empty but there are these containers I thought about hopping the fence and sleeping next to the containers which I still might or I might just sleep down in this little depression so let me kind of look at that and I'll bring you back okay so this is pretty much it a sort of flat spot so yeah let me get out my sleeping pad I have a really lightweight sleeping bag because it's pretty warm I've got a pillow that's pretty much it super quick 
super light. Sleeping bag. Pillow. And the mat. after 9 o'clock right now. I am still on East Coast time, so this feels like midnight to me. I am really tired. Wait, sleeping bag. I think the low temperature tonight be pretty warm, like 58 degrees Fahrenheit, which is that Celsius. This sleeping bag will be plenty for that. All right. That is my setup for tonight. So I'm just gonna sit here and chill for a little bit. Until it gets a little bit darker, like I said, I am really tired. I'm going to bed early. I have to get up early and go back to work in the morning. This is a Wednesday night. I go, I fly home on Friday, so I have to work all day tomorrow. And tomorrow night, I have to go to bed and get up at like 2.30 in the morning time here to get to the airport for a 6 a.m. flight out to head back home. So yeah, I'll bring you back when it's closer to bedtime. So still not quite time for bed. I just want to say when this video comes out, my Italy rooftop video should have already been out. If you haven't seen that, I will put a link in the description. I traveled to Italy for work and stealth camp on a rooftop. But yeah, anyone who is a stealth camper and they stealth camp someplace not in their normal area where they live, someplace they're not used to, kudos to them because when you're in a totally different area of your country or in another country. The nerves are way more because you just have no idea what to expect. So yeah, I'm pretty nervous right now. I feel like the spot's pretty good. Not too worried about anyone seeing me or hearing me, but still, just being in the unfamiliar place on the other side of my country yeah it is there's a lot of nerves 
but here I am. So yeah, I will bring you back when it's bedtime. Alright, so it's almost 9.30, it's almost completely dark, but I am exhausted. So, it is bedtime. Oh, I think there's a, oh, yep, there's a big rock under me. That's better. <laughs> now it's not too bad, it's kind of comfortable. So yeah, I'm going to bed. I'm gonna keep my ears open for anyone around. A lot of traffic on the highway, which that doesn't bother me. I've said in other videos I like I kinda like when I hear traffic all night. It's kinda soothing for me. But yeah. Good night and I will see you in the morning. Oh, good morning. That was not great sleep. Woke up at like 1 a.m. I was up for a long time. I think it's still jet lag. But I never heard anyone. Other than the traffic. Went all night. Calmed down considerably early in the morning. But so there was always someone going down the road. But yeah, it is now 5.30 in the morning, so I better get this stuff packed up, and I'll bring you back in a minute. I didn't get a hole in this. There's all these little rocks around, but it held up fine. This is super quick. I didn't have dinner out here last night. Don't have any coffee, but I do have. A cookie, or two cookies actually, and that'll be breakfast out here. Gotta do something. See. Early. Well, it doesn't feel that early to me. I'm used to it being three hours later.
had a horrible breakfast. I will have some coffee when I get back to my room. Okay, let's look around a little bit in the daylight before I head out. Go back up here and look at the highway again. Okay, let me get back. I need to go get ready for work. So here's the feral cat compound where people come out and put food and water for them, which is awesome. Oops, I see somebody get into their car, so I'll wait a minute. Well, actually, they're getting out. Okay. Yeah, this is my hotel here, so I was really close through the fence. Oops, I'll just walk out like I belong here. Nothing to see here. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, just a super quick stealth camp. Oh, well, maybe not camp. Stealth sleep. We'll call it stealth sleep. How about that? But in California, not Virginia. So you know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.